We're going to look at how Google Gemini performs in assisting us with creating SQL queries for BigQuery data in Google Cloud Platform. We have this events table in BigQuery and you can see there's a field for e-commerce with nested fields for purchase revenue and other fields. I'm going to click on one of these fields so I can grab the table that is created from this query. Highlight this right here and copy and we actually only need up to the underscore after events because we want to replace this date here with an asterisk for a wildcard to query all the tables available. Click on this Gemini logo at the top next to the search bar and what I did was split it out to another tab. By clicking on this icon or you could close out one of the other panels to give yourself some more space. In the prompt field at the bottom here, we're going to use this prompt to ask BigQuery to find us the day with the highest revenue. When we submit the prompt, Gemini breaks down how it constructed the SQL query to find the data that we're looking for. Here's the actual query and the explanation of each part of the query. Copy this query and paste it in the query editor. There are a few issues with this code and Google does provide a disclaimer somewhere. You need to be careful using this code, the code that it provides. For example, we need to move the single quote to the end. We also don't have to manipulate this field, this event date field. Actually, the event time doesn't even exist. So we're going to get rid of that. And instead of using the column number, we're just going to use the field name. So we'll group by event date. Now we see the indicator that the query will work. So we'll click on run. And while the query that Gemini generates isn't perfect, it can help you work faster, more efficiently, unless the query that it generates is just chock full of errors. We see the result in the query results panel down here. Let's ask for the top five dates. And we see the rest of the top five dates with the highest revenue are in December. Now let's give this prompt to Claude and see how it does compare to Gemini. Now, since Claude isn't directly in BigQuery or Google Cloud Platform, we need to give it some more context. So we're asking it to write a SQL query for BigQuery GA4 e-commerce obfuscated data set. I'll probably have to look at the table schema, but at first glance, this looks promising. So let's copy this. We're back in the query editor for BigQuery and let's fix this single quote issue and we'll run the query. There's our result that checks out with the other query from Gemini, but I feel like Claude gave us a better output where we only had to deal with this syntax error, which was easy to fix. What are your thoughts on this simple comparison? What other test queries would you like to see? If you found this useful, like the video and leave a comment. If you want more content on AI, workflow automation, and analytics, subscribe to the channel.